Hi guys, welcome back. As promised, we're going to show you how to do a glittery ornament. Um, yesterday we did a beautiful ornament that we put paint on in the inside. Today I'm going to show you how to put glitter on the inside. And then you can do whatever you want with it afterwards. So I'm going to be using the same plastic ornament. It's round but kind of flat as well. Um, I'm using some Mod Podge and I'm mixing in some white glitter, which I just picked up from Amazon. Um, I will leave a link in the description for that glitter. Uh, I will not be actually painting up or, or showing you an ornament made with this color glitter today. I'm just showing you how I put it into the ornament with this glitter because... I could have made a snowman ornament with you, but I decided to make a snowman tutorial. So that's going to be separate. We're going to be using this glitter on, on another time, uh, on another tutorial, which I'm also posting today. So instead of using this glitter, I'm going to be using a green glitter, but I'm showing you how to put it in the ornament with this color. Okay. I hope there's no confusion and I apologize if there is. I love you. <laughs> so I'm using a funnel and uh, don't worry, you can clean off all the glitter. Don't, no husbands out there be getting upset. We can wash this glitter off of any of the utensils or bowls or anything that we put it in. It will wash, I promise. So uh, it's really thick. I've added a nice thick amount of glitter in there because I don't want it to be patchy. I want it to be solid glitter. So I've put lots of glitter, mixed it in with the Mod Podge. Now it's a thick, gluey, glittery paste. And you're going to see how thick it is when I roll it around in here. It's moving very slow. So you can see how easily you can maneuver it without it getting too messy. And then once you get it to the very, very edge, you just tip it over and let it drain like on a uh, paper plate or um, like a margarine container lid or, or something that you don't really care about too much. Don't sit it down on top of your desk and just walk away because you're going to have a mess and it might even lift up and tip over and go all over the outside and you don't want that. So... Tip it over on something that you don't mind. You can even put it in an egg carton and let it dry for a couple of days. That's what I've done with these ones. Um, I let them dry for a couple of days. I just used a different color glitter. You can choose whatever you want. I will put a link in the description for where I got this beautiful stuff. Um, it's a place called Glitter and Crafts for You. Uh, and I will leave that link in the description. Uh, here's one that I created um, using a stencil and then putting white glitter on the outside on the design. Um, I'm going to do something with this snowflake on this one. And today we're going to create one. We're going to kind of cheat. <laughs> I'm going to be lazy. You might not have seen my tutorial from yesterday, but it was a lot of work, a lot of dots. So today I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use my Cricut Maker and I'm going to cut out a cute stencil of a, a gorgeous deer and I'm just going to smush it right onto my Christmas ornament and it's ready to go. So I'm using some permanent vinyl. Uh, I cut out the design from Cricut Design Space, um, which comes, you, you pay a monthly subscription for that. Um, if you need more information about Cricut stuff, please ask me in the comments and it is a busy time of year, but I will get back to your answers as soon as I can. Um, I'm using some transfer tape to transfer that vinyl from this paper and onto the ornament. So using a Cricut machine is not cheating in my eyes when you're creating whatever the heck you want is art. Um, but some people look at it like it's cheating. I'm not painting it, but I'm still showing you something to maybe inspire you for the future. This is a little late. I keep getting told it's a little late for this year, but, but next year you guys have all these ideas ready for you.
So I've transferred my beautiful image, smushing it. I call it smushing. That is not the technical term, but I'm smushing the image down onto the ornament. And it's permanent vinyl, so it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay there just like that until, whoops, there's a piece out of place. <laughs> so I'm going to move some little pieces and then I'm going to smush them down again <laughs> and make sure that it looks like a deer still. And then I can show it to you in my tree. So the whole point of this tutorial today was to show you how to make a glittery backgrounded ornament. You can do the dots like we did yesterday on top of this. Or you can cricket something, or you can stencil something, or you can paint something. Whatever you feel, however you've been inspired, that's what you get to do. And look at that. No matter what you decide to do, it's going to look amazing. You can give these away as gifts. You can put names on them. You can just put Merry Christmas. You can put the year. You can put Baby's First Christmas. There's so many things you can do on glittery, beautiful uh, Christmas tree ornaments. Um, you could even make ones for Halloween. Totally up to you. Who says you can't? <laughs> I love you guys. Stay tuned for the snowman tutorial that is coming later. I love you. Keep painting. Bye.